Hello everyone and welcome to my ancestral toon guide for the Elder Scrolls Online. My name is Tianline and today I will show you how you can get the Ancestral Tomb Hunter achievement, the Librarian title and the Great Wardenface game model for your home. If you want to go direct to a specific topic, take a look in the description. So, before we start and if you play on PC, I want to recommend you a great add-on by the Ancestors Tomb Hunter from Kyoma. It will add little markers on your Wardenfell map, so you can easily find all locations. You can find the link in the description. When you don't want to use this add-on or you play on a console, the Elder Scrolls Online, I will show you later all locations. Before we start with the tomb hunting, we have to start the actual quest. For that, we have to travel to Vivek City to the Temple Canton. Not far away from the Vivek Temple Way Shrine, you can find the Library of Vivek. You find here the Librarian Braden, who will send you on the quest, the Ancestral Tombs. For this quest, we have to find the Otrila's Ancestral Tomb, which is marked on your map and not far away from Vivek City. Here we have to take a rubbing and then return to the library. Now we have to find the other 29 Ancestral Tombs, which are scattered over Warrenfell. Before we leave the library, pay attention to the library center. Here you see a big model of Warrenfell, but with a lot of parts missing. With returning of the Otrila's ancestral tomb rubbing, we added one part. So over the time when you return rubbings to the librarian Braden, our model will get piece by piece completed. Now we will talk about the left 29 ancestral tomb locations. I started the ancestral tomb hunt in Vivek City and traveled to the east. But it is totally up to you in which order you collect these tombs and how often you return to the library to see your miniature model grow. The Vela's ancestral tomb is east of Suran. You can find the Rilet ancestral tomb southeast of Suran on a small island. West of Molagmar is the Raviro ancestral tomb. South of Molagmar is the Reda's Ancestral Tomb. At the south coast of Wardenfell, near the Tel Branova Way Shrine, you can find the Arano Ancestral Tomb. At the east coast of Wardenfell, you can find the Lerbu Ancestral Tomb. The Arnim Ancestral Tomb is at the east coast of Wardenfell, not far away from the Holomayan Monastery. North of the city set with Mora, on a small island, is the Verilnim Ancestral Tomb. A little north of set with Mora is the Satrion Ancestral Tomb. The Aran Ancestral Tomb you can find north of Suran. North of the two left things way shrine is the Surano Ancestral Tomb. East of the two left things way shrine you can find the Marin Ancestral Tomb. West of the Missia Daedalit Egg Mine is the Anders Ancestral Tomb. Northeast of the Fallen Sarano Ruins you can find the Ionith Ancestral Tomb. West of the Dubdil Alar Tower is the Venim Ancestral Tomb. West of Voa, you can find the Nerano Ancestral Tomb. East of the Valley of the Windway Shrine is the Farvel Ancestral Tomb. Next to the Ushilako Camp Way Shrine is the Seran Ancestral Tomb. In the north of Nisis, you can find the Ginnith Ancestral Tomb. In 
East of Nisis ist der Ritandus in Tomb. Direct at the West Gash Way Shrine, you can find the Salutran Ancestral Tomb. North of the West Gash Way Shrine is the Tevahin Ancestral Tomb. Next to Niltox Hollow, you can find the Uviran Ancestral Tomb. West of Balmora is the Nova in Ancestral Tomb. Direct in the city of Balmora, next to the Silt Strider and Stable, you can find the Tarsis Ancestral Tomb. Southeast of Balmora, at the coast, you can find the Heran Ancestral Tomb. Between Sedanin and Balmora is the Leran Ancestral Tomb. West of Sedanin you can find Tela's Ancestral Tomb. You can find the Sarano Ancestral Tomb east of Balmora. After we collected the last ancestral tomb rubbing, we have to return to the library in Vivek City. Talk to the librarian Braden, and our miniature model in the center of the library will be almost completed. For finishing this quest, you will be awarded with the ancestral tomb's hunter achievement, and you earn the title librarian. Speak again with Braden to get the next quest to Lost Library. Our miniature model is nearly complete, my friend. All that remains is a single component, and that's the key to everything. Indubitably, thanks to your efforts. Every rubbing you brought back not only helped complete the model, but it also provided another clue as to the location of the lost library. What isn't present is the key. That gap in the model, that's where we'll find the lost library of Andul. Once you go and locate the exact spot, we can start examining the records related to our earliest Velothi settlers. What do you say? Ready for one more adventure? We have to find the lost library which is marked on your map. You can find the library of Andule north of the Chulev Thing Ray Shrine. Inside of the library we have to solve a small riddle. To progress further we have to lit two braziers. The brazier of wisdom and the brazier of knowledge. To reach the brazier rooms you have to follow and step only on these tiles which are shown at the entrance. After we lit successfully the braziers a path will open to the library vaults. Here we have to collect the four genealogies of the houses Indoril, Dress, Ridoran and Halalu. If you want to try this riddle alone, you can read the house histories to get some hints. You have to talk to each ancestor spirit at each house chamber and answer his questions correct to get access. We start with the house Indoril. Halt, intruder. Before entering this vault, you must demonstrate that you understand the goals and beliefs of House Indoril. By answering a few simple questions, such as this one, House Indoril holds what cherished institution to be most precious? According to House Indoril, Dunma culture must. With regard to outsiders, how does House Indoril stand? You show a deep and abiding understanding of the values of House Indoril. You may enter this vault.
Now the house dress. Halt! Only those who understand the value and thinking of House Drez may enter this vault of knowledge. House Drez holds to the ancient tradition of Daedra and ancestor worship, as well as to the cherished institution of what economic system? Why is House Drez crucial to Morrowind's survival? How does House Drez view the Dunmer role in Tamriel? You demonstrate a clear understanding of the values of House Drez. You may enter this vault. Then House Ridorwen. Halt, intruder! Only those who demonstrate a keen and thorough understanding of the values of House Redoran may be granted access to this vault. Answer the following questions or fail this test. Describe the driving goal of House Redoran. House Redoran's outlook on life can be summed up as. House Redoran most strongly believes in the following institution. An impressive display. You may enter the Redoran vault. And last but not least, House Halalu. Stop! Intimate knowledge and understanding of how Salalu is required to enter this vault. Quite simple, really. Answer the following questions correctly. That's all there is to it. The goal of every House Salalu member is to... How Salalu believes the best approach to negotiations is to... Success is achieved when a member of House Salalu does... what? You do know House Salalu. Impressive. This vault has now been opened to you. After we collected all four house genealogies, you can collect the Tavani genealogy and then return to the library in Vivek City. Speak to the librarian Braden to finish the quest and you will get rewarded with Enyut's Couriers of the Defiler and the Wardenfell Scale model. You can place the Wardenfell Scale model at your house. You can find it in the housing editor in the gallery display tab. Hopefully you enjoyed my ancestral tomb guide for the Elder Scrolls Online. It would be amazing if you subscribe, like or leave me a comment. Have a nice day and until next time, tschüss!